I think that there has that, that a, a portal, a demonic portal, opened above the White House around the time that the Bidens moved in. Uh, this was brought to my attention by a, a Christian who lives in North Florida who sent me a bunch of photographs. And that is right-wing trickster Roger Stone. The friend of Donald Trump claims a satanic portal has been opened above the Biden White House. Stone says he initially thought the claim was crazy. I was skeptical about it, um, but I looked at the photos, and, I and you, you can also, there's a live cam where you can actually see in real time, and there does appear to be something, you know, above the White House. Something, something must, inexplicable. Well, at first you say, well, maybe it's a reflection. Maybe it's a, an aerostat balloon. You know, maybe there's a logical... So I, I called a police officer I know, works in Arlington, he's a friend of mine, and I said, look, um, do me a favor, would you get out and check this out? He said, are you out of your mind? I said, no, just humor me, just humor me. Go down there and, and check it out and tell me what... Call me back and tell me what you see right. and take photos. And he called me back about two and a half hours later and he said, you're not going to believe this, but... There's definitely something there, and it's there. He said, it, "People who are, other people were there photographing it." Roger Stone is no stranger to photographs. A few years ago, a jury convicted him on seven counts of lying to Congress, witness tampering, and obstruction of justice related to a federal investigation of Russian interference in the 2016 election. Stone claims to have become a dedicated Christian because he believes God used Donald Trump to pardon him. In any case, Stone first started making a claim about a demonic portal in early 2022. He appeared on a program called Elijah List. Generally, the program's content consists of wild conspiracy theories about how God is supposedly working to save the United States through modern-day prophets and Donald Trump. It, there you can see it. Uh, it's very, very clear. Uh, it doesn't move day or night. It's harder to see during the day, but you, you see it at night. Uh, and uh, I'm absolutely convinced uh, about the inherent, there it is again, about the inherent evil of what's going on in the White House, what's going on in the country. And I think it's imperative uh, that people know about this, that people of good faith, that Christians know about this. And we begin uh, a national, essentially a prayer assault to close the portal. Okay. A prayer assault to close the portal. Well, Roger Stone has issued these calls to prayer in several public appearances and speeches. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, there is a satanic portal above the White House. You can see it day and night. It exists. It is real. And it must be closed. And it will be closed by prayer. Really? Prayers are all it will take to close a demonic portal? Roger Stone has told journalists that his argument and thinking is logical. If you believe the Bible, and we do, he says, and you believe, Satan exists. And if Satan exists, there also must be demons, and therefore a portal in which demons enter this realm. According to Stone, demons populate the Biden administration. He says you can't tell whether they are men or women. They don't seem to know either. This right-wing lunacy would be humorous if it wasn't so pathetic and sad. In Joe Biden's first year in office, his administration created more than 6.6 .6 million jobs, the most of any president in U.S. history. Demonic? The unemployment rate when Biden took office was 6.2%, now it is 3.7%. Satanic? Child poverty is now at the lowest rate ever. But heck, maybe demons really do exist, and they are using a swirling portal over the White House to protect Democrats from being infected and dragged down by Republicans. You know, a quasi-supernatural toilet where the Republicans' awful impulses gets flushed away through magnetic force fields. One man called and said, you can see it day or night. It's, a, it's like a smudge in the sky, almost like a cloud that doesn't move. But when you zoom in on it with a telephonic lens, it's swirling like a cauldron. Now, wait a minute. So this is like, what, eight months ago? Yes. Okay. So... This is a cop yes, telling you that he doesn't know what the heck it is. But, but it's something. But yeah, there's something there. Correct. And therefore, Has this persisted? Yes, it's still there. It's still there? It, it's still there. Okay, that's nuts. Like, how has the media not covered this? Well, the media doesn't cover a lot of things that are true. Well, here's the truth. Roger Stone is free to believe what he and other fringe lunatics want to believe. And as long as that portal or weather balloon or reflection from Secret Service equipment on the White House roof is just sitting there and not bothering anybody, it's all fine by me. The Biden White House keeps stacking up successes. And clearly for conservatives like Roger Stone and others in the Trump MAGA world, 
It is absolute hell. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.